Mrs. Dinker, can you remember what Ellie was wearing that morning? She had on a green dress and a brown pair of shoes. Was the dress a dark green or a light green? Dark green. And it had a white lacy collar that I made for her. Did you ever see your daughter again? No, sir. Mrs. Dinker, please. I ask you, is this your daughter Ellie's dress? I ain't seen it since that day. What was she saying? The dress? She didn't actually identify the dress. Harlan, I'd like to take a look at Ellie's dress, if you don't mind. How'd you find me out here? Are well, you undercover or something? <laughs> Mr. Walfield's secretary told me. You want official business? Folks plant marijuana between the rows of corn. Must feel they need the extra money. Why wasn't there a better search for Ellie's body? Huh? And why is it so many people just, they just didn't care? I think you know something about this, Harlan. Why don't you just talk to me? Ellie Dinka wasn't no princess. Now, she was more of a teenage whore. But her mama thought Ellie was an angel. And we'd be a southern gentleman looking after our ladies. That's why we didn't dig deep, because we knew it would be fine. Well, you think she was turning tricks out there on that mountain road? <laughs> I figured over it and arranged to meet her for a quick fix of jelly roll. She made a snort-ass remark. They had a dispute over the fee. She ends up dead. That's your theory, huh? Harlan, that's bullshit. Well, you've been a cop for how many years? And you're telling me that you are satisfied the way that investigation was handled? What I'm telling you is that Wolfield called the shots. It was his baby from day one. Well, how about that dress? Will you forget about it? I'd like to see it. Well, so would I. It's gone. Vanished. I could use a drink. Get the door in the box. Tire iron, shoes, dress, all the physical evidence. Down the courthouse basement. I was organizing stuff, and I come across this box. The flaps is open. Everything's there. Everything except Ellie Dinker's dress. <laughs> Well, don't take this personal, Harlan. That investigation was pretty shoddy. <laughs> yep. Somebody wanted it that way. Looks like somebody still wants it that way, too, because you know, we both know Ellie Dinker's dress didn't just get up and walk off by itself now. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, he knew the answer. Now, how do you know that? Because it changed, that's why. It's like he didn't want to know anymore. Whatever he learned, it, uh, it sat heavy on him. Now look here, Jack. It's time for you to get back home. your mother say that has anything to do with your father. Any other letters, uncles, any newspaper clippings that come from the trial, anything. I want it all. Listen to this one. Lloyd Walter Overton, though only 35. 
looked much older than his years. He had closed his eyes in a tight squint, as if in anticipation of the shock that was to come. Or perhaps to prevent himself the indignity of a scream. His eyes did not open again in this world. The man who wrote this was on your father's side. You got a phone book? What? I gotta find this guy. I don't have a telephone, remember? Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Who the hell is it? You better not be selling anything at this hour. Are you the Gordon Townsend who worked for the Sequoia Standard? I might be. Why? I'd like some information on the Ali Dinka case. Well, it's about time. It was odd. It took a while for word to get out about Ellie's disappearing. She'd be gone for a couple of days before I knew about it. Sheriff Maddox set up the roadblocks, and then suddenly, just like that, they found her bloody dress hanging on a tree. That very day, they nailed Overton. My wife used to order these. She's gone now. I take it you don't think Overton murdered the girl? He didn't have a motive. Well, Luther Snow testified that... Oh, woman troubles. That's a load of crap. You taking notes? Uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, well, no, take this down. Uh, after Overton was arrested, I wrote to the army and got his war record. Well, he'd been wounded, all right. But what his lawyer failed to mention to the jury was that Lloyd Overton had been shot up in the groin. In his genitals. But his wife was pregnant. Overton had lost the capacity to handle women. That included his wife and Ellie Dinker. Are you sure about that? I've got his war record. Why didn't you tell anyone this? Who said I didn't? I went straight to his attorney. Mr. Talbot, I got proof for you right here. Oh, he was smooth. Thanked me profusely. But he didn't lift a finger. Never brought it up at the trial. After Overton was sentenced, I went to visit him in prison. I told him I knew. And he insisted that I leave it alone. Why? Pride, I guess. A month later, he was dead. I got all my notes. Records. Everything. I hope one day somebody would come. It's all there. I gave that to another fella just a month ago. Who? Sheriff Ray Tindall. I gave it to him, but he never did a damn thing with him. Just brought him back, never said a word, just handed them back to me. When was this? The day he died. Overton was a broken man, emasculated, suffering through the inexplicable pregnancy of, of his wife, and accused of murder, and you refused to save him. Gordon Townsend told you about his condition before the execution. Yes, he did. I already knew about it. We, uh, how? And his wife, Sarah. She was a beautiful woman. Oh, it's you and Sarah. We were both married to invalids, Mr. Kinley, who had withdrawn from society. But not only is he physically devastated, he's cuckolded by his life. It's late, Mr. Kinley. It's much too late. Mr. Talbot, what happened when the beautiful Sarah discovered she was pregnant? We discussed the possibility of abortion. Which was illegal in those days, sir. Illegal, but obtainable. Neither of us wanted that. I asked her to marry me. She refused. She wouldn't do that to Overton. And then the good old sacrificial lamb, Overton, gets arrested. It's convenient. 
And you supposedly defend him. I tried to save him. And that's why you kept his wounds a secret. He didn't tell me about that. I, I couldn't let on that I knew without implicating Sarah. Well, let's not forget you, sir. Besides, it was irrelevant. Lloyd Overton killed Ellie Dinker. He was seen with her just hours before she died. Yeah, and the shoes in the truck and the bloody dress and the tire iron. They're all circumstantial, sir. You let him die. He murdered her! He was a man ready to explode. Think of the rage that he carried in him. He was a half-man with a pregnant wife. Who knows what went on in his mind? And then he spots this girl on a deserted road and she sashays up to him, wagging her behind and he snaps! I tried to save him for Sarah and the child. Jackson, will you tell Dora? Should I? Ray didn't. He knew? He, he got this far? He came here about a month before he died. I asked him if he was going to tell Dora, and, and he said, absolutely. No hesitation, absolutely. Apparently, something changed his mind. I w watch her, you know. I follow her. I've seen you two together. She, she is my only child. I told her, don't go to a bar for the ambience. I go to so that I can be in the same room with her. I'd hold her in my arms once before I die. Sometimes. On a cold night. Yeah. That's your first lie to me. Thank you. Well, as I live and breathe, it's the author, Mr. Kinley. The usual, Luann. How's that book of yours coming on? Book? The one on the Overton trial. No use playing coy about it. The whole town's buzzing. Sure they're not uh, buzzing about the missing evidence? What evidence? Ellie Dinker's dress. You're speaking of me in riddles, Mr. Kinley. Well, her dress is missing from the courthouse basement. Who come up with that? Harlan Wade. Everyone signs in before touching evidence. That is very closely monitored. Well, according to Harlan, the dress disappeared somewhere between May and August of 92. Hmm. The courthouse was closed then. Renovations? Mm. Outside of the cleaner staff, no one else was allowed in. Do you happen to know who was on that cleaner staff? Miss hmm. Trumbull. You know, she had a stroke last year. Who else? Betty Raines. Is that the same Betty Raines who testified at the Overton trial? Now, you wouldn't happen to know where she lives? Are you writing about my father? Do you know where she lives? I won't have anyone following his memory, you hear? Now, after that trial, 
My father sent a good deal of money to Miss Overton. She didn't even know who it was from. I don't suppose they do that sort of thing in New York now, do they? But here we're close. My father felt that woman's suffering. You want to write about trial, fine. But lay out my father. Is that clear? So, are you going to give me her address, or do I have to ask your secretary for it? Thank you, Louis. Betty Raines, may I speak with you? As far as you could tell, Mrs. Raines, were Luther Snow and, and Overton good friends? No. They were nothing to each other. They just worked together, that's all. And why did Luther Snow say that he was in his testimony? I think to please Mr. Thompson. He owned the Sequoia Building and Lumber Company where we all worked. Hmm. Mr. Thompson and all them other bigwigs, Sheriff Matt. Mr. Warfield and them, they all hung around together. They had a, a lodge up in the canyon. Used to go hunting, drinking, things like that. And Luther, he did odd jobs for all of them. So why did you testify for Overton? Because he was innocent. <laughs> Mr. Warfield, he threatened me. He said, if I went to court for Overton, that I would be fired. Said, Ellie, we're nothing but a whore. You know, Miss Dinker, she didn't believe that Overton done it either. She come to me after the trial. She said there was something wrong with the dress. She asked me if she could see it. Did you show it to her? Mm, well, it was hers. <laughs> if it belonged to anybody, it belonged to her. What did she say or do when you, when, you, when you brought it to her? Just spread it out on this table right here. Didn't say nothing. She just ran her fingers over the chest part of it. And then she just left it laying there. I never did take it back. <laughs> there it is. Where's the collar? Miss Dicker said she made a lace collar for this dress. It was there. You can see where it was stitched down real good. Somebody cut it off. Not torn? No. It was cut clean with scissors. This dress was taken off without a struggle. Lloyd Overton took a child into the woods. Lloyd Overton forced her down upon the ground. That man took a tire iron in his hands and did unspeakable things to a girl that was powerless to resist. That man, Lloyd Walter Overton, took Ellie Dinker's life. Ah! Huh. Sorry I woke you. I, I just uh, had another rough night. Maybe I'll do sometime. Yeah, yeah, well. Hmm. I don't know, ever since I've been down here, I can't shake this one dream. <laughs> when Ray and I were kids, we went looking for this, this cottage way back in the woods that Ray had heard about. Well, we were almost there. It was like real close. The air was, it was real thick, it was like swamp air. And we come across it, well, hmm. Best I can describe it is this drapery of, of vines, this coiling green. It was impenetrable. You ever find the cottage? 
No, I had to turn back. I had an asthma attack. But Ray has left me this damn vine. It's... He probably wanted to remind you of that particular day. You're never going to tell me, are you? Tell you what? Everything. The truth. What you found. What I found? Yeah. You. Get me. I should have told you this sooner, but I didn't. What? That day when I found Ray burning the transcripts, I managed to save one. Your mother was on trial a long time ago. You know, I'm not authorized to do this. I'm dependent on you, Mrs. Hunter. State of Georgia versus Edna May Kinley. On the charges of practicing medicine without a license. Prosecuted by Thomas Warfield. First witness, Edna May Kinley. So you, your mother, Mrs. Georgette Dollar, and your son, Jackson, all reside in your cottage. We do. And the boy's father? Long gone. Do you own that cottage, Miss Kinley? Just about. Well, how do you manage the payments? Uh, do you have a job? I perform miracles. <laughs> Silence! Well, I have a few questions. questions. Yes. Ask them. About making a living. It's all in your head. What? What you see when you look at me? I... You're looking for a cure. Looking for a way out. Are you saying that I you... provide the way. They want a way out. You practice medicine. I give them things. Mostly plants from the woods. Are you guilty? Yes. I'll say this. Nothing else. There is no way out. They're just voices. Everything is in your head. Nobody knows anything. It's only a wish that gets you through. I don't practice medicine. These people who come to me, they don't want medicine. I practice magic. Sometimes when it's a problem in their head, I give them magic for that too. See, the troubles are like stones, but even a stone can disappear. You just pick it up and throw it in the river like magic, it's gone. There's no harm in any of this. You find what harm I've done, you make me pay for that. That's all I got to say. Teddy Warfield says the Overton case is consuming you. Are you becoming a nuisance, Jackson? Yes, I'm afraid so, Doctor. Um, is Ellie Dinker ever your patient? Yeah. Is she... Ran around a lot. Yeah, she did. When did you last treat her? A week before the murder. She came to me. She was pregnant. She wanted an abortion. You have to understand something, Jackson. Ellie wasn't your average teenager. She was uh, very, shall we say, frank. She asked, can you get rid of it? 
Will you join me? It's late enough in the afternoon, don't you think? Yes, thank you, sir. I told her that performing an abortion was illegal. I never saw her again. It was obvious Overton was the father. Naturally, we had to... Protect Ellie's name, yes, I understand. But Dr. Stark, Overton did not impregnate Ellie Dinker. He couldn't have. During the war, he was shot in the groin. So it was quite impossible. And you ask your pal Horace Talbot about that. Are you sure of this, Jackson? He and Warfield both knew. They chose to withhold it from the jury. And me. If you didn't perform abortions, who would? Hmm? Is this something somebody would have gone to my mother about? Jackson, I'm sorry you found out about that. Let it go now, you hear? There's nothing more you want to know. It's over. Right. Kinley, I found some things at your granny Donner's house. The envelope, a case I was working on. I was gonna burn them, but I left them here instead. I figured if you found it, it's because you looked real hard. No. Horace Talbot, Thomas Warfield, old man Thompson, the whole gang. recognition. Oh! <laughs> 
Little thing, you better go and get out of here. No, I want you to stay. You can't do anything right. Did you tell your precious Teddy about this? Yeah, son, you know that old tramp who was screaming that thing ago just found out you got her pregnant. My boy doesn't know. Oh, don't worry, son. Daddy will fix it for he you. He doesn't need to know he got her pregnant. No you problem. Need... Daddy will get in my man to get I'm rid of the I'm not the baby. one that killed her. You did it. You're the one. You are the one who came to me for a miracle, Thomas. By God, perform one. Raise her from the goddamn dead. Mama, get him out of here. Mama, I said, get, get him out of here now. Come on, we gotta get out. Hiding it from view, and soon everyone forgot it was there. Hear me, boy. You'll forget all this. What do you want, mister? I hurt real bad. Need a cure. Takes money. Oh, I got that. What's your name? Lord. Lord Overton. I work over at Sequoia Building in Lumber Company. Anybody know you come here? No, 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 ma'am, not so. I got no use for physicians, ma'am. All I need is a potion. Yeah, healing. Take care of you. Come on. Come on in here. Come on. Stay, boy. No, what? Drink this. Come on. Go <laughs> back. Sleep. You sleep now. Mama! Put her shoes in the trunk there. Luther. Put her in the uh, maze car. Then you get out of here. State line. Don't come back for a couple of weeks. Go on. Okay. But Jackson, Jackson, I'm gonna come back for you. Okay. okay. I'm gonna come back for you.
Why didn't you tell me? You should have just told me, Ray. God damn maniac! Kinley, what the hell? You could have killed us both. Kinley, you all right? Warfield. I think there's a few things you need to know. Your father and, and Ellie Dinker and my What is it, Kinley? I know now. Everything? Yeah. Are well, you gonna tell me? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> 